Welcome to another episode of Pot and Talk, the show where I pot things, um, and I talk while doing it. Please ignore whatever is going on um, with my hair. I haven't had a haircut since February, okay? It's just, uh, it's really long and it's like curly now and it's new for me. Usually I have it really short, so um, it is what it is. It is what it is. So today we are actually potting up the cuttings of the Peperomia Hope that we took a while ago. Um, oh, actually this one is not being potted up because this is the one that doesn't have any roots. So we will set that one aside. Um, but the rest of these are good to be potted up. So we're gonna be potting up a bunch of these, um, some in the same pot as the mother plant. And we're gonna do um, a whole new little pot of these as well to grow because there's not a lot of room in this mother plant, I just realized. We're also gonna be potting up the philodendron micans, um, the ones with the nice roots anyway. I don't know if you can see that. Let me put it against my black shirt. This is a root right here. The third thing that we're gonna be potting up is this um, money tree cutting. So I have my money tree right here. It's gonna end up on the table. Um, it's pretty big. But to make this a little more interesting, instead of me just sitting here, you know, in silence, putting cuttings into pots, I just kind of Googled like summer questions and just picked like three random ones. I don't really know if they have anything to do with summer, um, but uh, we're gonna be talking about those. To begin, we're actually gonna start with these uh, mic and cuttings just because there's three of them right here and they're just gonna be shoved right back into the mother plant, so I thought that was pretty easy. And this right here is the mother plant. This is the only philodendron micans that I have. Um, it's one of my favorite plants, but I just wish that it would look better. <laughs> right now, it kind of looks um, actually like my hair. This is what the sides of my, of my head look like. So imagine just this, you know, that's what my hair looks like. We're just gonna be putting them back into here. I wanted to create a fuller, bushier plant. And by taking cuttings of just the ends of the vines, rooting them, and then putting them back in the top, it's a really good way to create a bushier plant. I also forgot all my tools, so I'll get those now. Um, so to put these in, I'm just gonna use my handy dandy aquascaping tweezers, which are actually like, they're very handy. I don't have fish tanks anymore, but these things um, are really handy for potting. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in the soil, make a little hole, and then I'm going to take the cutting with the root and I'm gonna shove it into the hole. So these questions that I picked out really have absolutely nothing to do with each other. Um, they're just kind of like three random questions. And uh, the very first one, and I think the shortest one, is gonna be, what is your favorite tree? We're really hitting the uh, tough topics here. Um, I live in Canada where it, you know, there's seasons and winter happens and it's miserable and all the trees die. Um, so I really like trees. So it's always nice, you know, in the spring when you start to see the trees wake, it, wake up and everything. Um, and it is really nice in the fall too when you see all of the like leaves turn orange and stuff so I guess that's nice it would just be nice if like the season skipped over winter and then went right back into spring because winter is just miserable but my favorite trees um, I really like willow trees there's this little town in Ontario called um, Bayfield on Lake Huron and um, they have this willow tree there that's one of my favorite trees my dad's mom has family that live there so we kind of grew up there uh, we would go there in the summer to cottage and stuff um, and there's this really nice willow tree there that like hang over the road that ran parallel to Lake Huron um, and it was really nice and every time I go back I always find that tree and <laughs> look at it. I just really like willow trees. I know they're really messy but I think they're just really cool and uh, the way that they drape and the way that they grow all knotty and stuff like that. So that's really it. We've, we just kind of shoved the cuttings back into the mother plant. We've got one, one right here, and then I put two in the back. One right here, one right there. 
And we still have some other philodendron Mickens cuttings on the go. So once those are ready, they'll all be potted up in here as well. I'm just trying to create like a bushier plant because I don't know if everybody else's Mickens are like this, but these vines are really thin and um, there's not a whole lot of growth. I got really old cuttings in a trade. Um, so this plant is from a really old plant basically. And there's some parts in it like I don't know if you can see this right here, which is like a weird, maybe I can like zoom in in post, but this right here is like a weird, weird growth situation happening. And like, there's little things like this all over this plant. I don't know if that's normal or if it's just because, you know, this is an older plant. Um, but please let me know in the comments below if you have any experience with this and if this uh, weird abnormality is a normal or if I should just like cut it off and get rid of it. Also, let me know what your favorite trees are. Everybody has a favorite kind of tree. All I can really think of right now are willow trees, but I'm sure that there are other types of trees out there. <laughs> okay, so next we are going to pot up some of these cuttings of the pepperoni hope. So this is the parent plant that I took the cuttings from. I have it in a hanging basket. Uh, right now it's just in its nursery pot. Um, I took it out of there just so I could plant the cuttings in here. But as you can see, all of this, all of the ends have new growth. So here's new growth, here's some new growth. Um, and it's doing really well. I didn't expect it to bounce back so fast. It really has come back really fast and I'm, I'm pretty happy because this is one of my favorite plants. I like the philodendron mickens. I said that that was one of my favorite plants, but you know, it's one of my favorite plants because it has potential. You know, it could be something really great. This already looks really cool, and I wanted one of these as soon as I started uh, my plant obsession and buying plants, um, and it took me a while to find one, but when I did, I was super thrilled. So it was a little nerve-wracking the first time that I cut it up. So we have quite a few cuttings to put back in here. Um, you can see them all here right before me at the bottom of the video. There's a lot, <laughs> and um, there's so many that I don't think they're all gonna fit in here. Well, I know that they're not gonna all fit in here. So we're actually gonna do two uh, separate plants. We're gonna start a new one. I have some soil in here. I'm potting them just in a mix of potting soil and perlite, um, just because they like something well draining. They don't wanna be sitting in moist, wet soil. Um, they're a tropical plant and they're more succulent in nature, so they want something that the water's gonna drain through so that they don't get root rot really easily. So for these, um, again, I'm gonna take my aquascaping tweezers and I'm just gonna make little holes because the roots on these aren't too deep. Like, if you look at this one right here, you know, it's got roots on it enough that it can be rooted um, and put back in here. And I was rooting them just in soil, as I'm sure you guys remember. I think they'll take fine um, to the soil and being back with the mother plant. So we'll see how that goes. So the next kind of summary question that I found was, what is your favorite vacation spot? Which is kind of a sore spot because nobody can go on vacation right now because there is a global pandemic happening. But one of my favorite places to visit, actually I've really enjoyed every kind of vacation that I've been on. A few years ago we were in Rome and Rome was exquisite. Like I don't want to leave Rome. I could have spent the rest of my life in Italy and been perfectly happy. But one of my favorite places to visit is Hilton Head Island in South Carolina. It's kind of like a, like a big travel spot for Canadians, I think. And it's a really like, oh my gosh, this isn't working. I just keep pushing them in and they just keep popping right out of the soil. But Hilton Head is really like a, um, it's, a, it's like a chill place. There's not like, I wouldn't say it's like a party atmosphere really. Um, there's not a lot to do there. They have good golfing if you golf, which I, I don't really golf. But my uncle golfs, he's a golf pro. And my whole family usually goes down and we kind of just like hang out on the beach and we drink and we chill. Um, and it's a nice warm oceanside atmosphere, which is um, refreshing when you've been in the Canadian winter for, for a few months. But we were actually down in Hilton Head this past March when the pandemic sort of began. We had crossed the border and then I think like the next day or the day of um, Justin Trudeau was like people probably shouldn't travel and we were like well what are what are we supposed to do <laughs> we're already across the border we're halfway to 
um, Hilton Head, where my sister and I were spending a week and my parents were spending two weeks. So we decided to go down anyway um, to make the most of, of, of what we could. And the whole time that we were down in South Carolina, that's kind of when the virus really hit Ontario pretty bad. Where we were, there were no cases. Even when we left, there were no cases on the island. I mean, I think it's a different story in America now. <laughs> but I felt very safe there, even though things were slowly shutting down. Okay, I shouldn't say that. I didn't feel very safe there. I was having panic attacks like every, <laughs> every couple of hours. But my like attacks were because I wasn't sure if we could get back into Canada, if we could cross the, the border or not, which, <laughs> Of course, we, we don't, we'd always be able to cross the border and get back into Canada. We ended up leaving a day or two early, um, and it was an interesting, it was an interesting trip. It was, the island was, was empty, and every day it kind of got more and more empty as shops were closing and people were leaving. So it was, it was an interesting trip, <laughs> to say the least. It was interesting. Usually, you know, we go there, we have a really great time. It's a lot of fun. Uh, this one, it was fun. It had its fun moments. It's just, you know, with the, with the looming global pandemic happening in the background, <laughs> it was kind of funny because my sister and I were like, you know, if shit hits the fan, we got to have a plan to like, how we're going to get out of here. We were like, we're going to have to get a boat. We're going to have to get everybody, all of our family who's with us here to get on the boat. We're going to have to uh, raid some like drugstores and stuff so that I can stock up on insulin and, and everything and get on the boat and get back to Canada and then we had to pick up my sister who was still in Canada. We had this whole thing planned out. We've been watching a lot of Walking Dead, so we know what we're gonna do. My sister Victoria, we decided to put her in charge. She was gonna be, you know, like she's the no-nonsense leader. She was gonna tell us how it is and what we're supposed to do and it would be Victoria Law. Oh, I think I just broke that root right off. So all I'm doing really is I'm just sticking these into uh, the dirt. There really is not a lot of room in here. I thought there was a lot more room than there is. So this is gonna be a pretty cramped little pot, but I think that's okay. I think it's okay. Most of these plants like to be a little root bound. I hope that Peperomia Hope is one of those. <laughs> I hope. A few years ago, my, um, my sister, the same sister, um, and our friend Taylor went to Salem at the end of October, the beginning of November. And it was really cool. It was a really, it was a really interesting experience. It's not too, well, I mean, it's touristy, but it's not too like over the top or anything. It's not like a Disneyland or something like that. Um, but it was really interesting to see all the artists there, to go on all of the like, the haunted tours and stuff, to learn about the history. Um, it was a really cool place. I would definitely like to go back there. And that's actually where I got this tattoo of a bee that's on my arm. Okay, so that's about all that I can fit into the mother plant. So hopefully those little, um, so hopefully those little leaves that I put in will grow stems and vines of their own eventually. Some of them are just kind of sitting here at the very top of the soil, but uh, they'll root, they'll continue to root and grow. So there's one done. So all of these I'm just gonna put into this little pot right here and it's gonna go into this planter for now. Eventually, I might move it to like a hanging planter or a small little uh, macrame thing, but for now, this will do. So again, I'm just gonna be moving the soil around with my trusty aquascaping scissors and shoving them in. Where are some of the places that you guys like to visit? Not that any of us can really go on vacation right now, but we can dream. I'm just gonna speed up the footage while I shove all of these little guys in here because it's gonna take a while. Okay, so we just kind of um, organized this the same as we did when we were propagating them. Um, there's not enough room in here though for all of them, so it looks like I'm gonna be starting a third Peperomia Hope plant, which is really not a problem because I can always sell it or uh, give it away. But there's the second plant, the Peperomia Hope plant, all planted up. So we'll just plop that in there. And then we will go find another planter. Okay, so we've got another little nursery pot here. We're just gonna put the rest uh, right in here and I'll have to find a pot for this one to go in, I guess. Um, what was in this? Houseplant, four inches. 
One of the big pet peeves that I have with um, like buying plants at grocery stores and stuff like that is that they always put on the pots house plant and sometimes it's not really clear what it is and you're just like uh, I don't know what this is it's cute and I'm gonna buy it but it would be handy to know like you know what kind of a plant it was rather than house plant And there we have it. We have our final Peperomia Hope. So these will all go somewhere where they get some really nice bright light and they'll continue to grow and continue to root. But yeah, I would say this propagation project was definitely a success. So now we have the final cutting that we're gonna pot up and it is this money tree, which I've been rooting for, I don't know, like two or three months and this is all that it's put out. I don't know if you can see that right there. And we're gonna be putting this right back into the mother plant. So this is the bottom of the money tree. <laughs> um, as you can see, this past winter, it started to push out um, some new growth down here, which I thought was really interesting. I got this at a grocery store here in Canada called Metro. Uh, it was like $15 or something like that. It was something crazy for, for the size that, that it is. So all we're gonna do is we are gonna poke a hole I think I want it close to the to the base of this one. And then we're just gonna take this and we're gonna shove it right in there. I have rooted money tree in the past, as I've mentioned in many of the propagation videos, and they take a really long time to, to push out new roots in, in water. I don't really know why it takes them so long. Maybe I'm just like doing it wrong. <laughs> I didn't even put that in there straight. The, the final like summer question though was, do you have any Netflix recommendations? Because I guess all we can really do right now during this whole pandemic is watch Netflix. And I don't really watch a lot of Netflix. <laughs> I don't really watch a lot of anything. Uh, the new season of Umbrella Academy came out though. I haven't watched the new season yet, but the first season was really good. So I recommend that. Also, the third season of Norseman came out, and Norseman is hilarious and really great. Definitely one that you should check out if you haven't already. Is Deep Space Nine still on Netflix? Because I always recommend watching that. You can't go wrong with some Star Trek Deep Space Nine. And there we have it. We just put it back in. It'll grow one day into a, a big tree like this. And yeah. And of course, thank you so much for watching. I will have another propagation video coming up soon. And yeah, see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for some more content. On Mondays, I post videos about houseplants. And on Fridays, I also post videos about houseplants. And reading, writing, photography, art, and any other generic interests of mine. As always, you can find my social media links in the description below. Also, you can find links to h, &H Games, the board game company I've helped create, and our debut board game, Season of Heroes. You can also find the Amazon links to my fantasy series, A Chronicle of Crowns. Thanks for watching. Bye.